Um, on the subject of Melbourne, Jason Riles is going to head there where he spent some time early in his coaching career and played there, of course. But Freddie, he's been punted from the Roosters straight up. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think the Roosters have sat there. They've been one of those clubs, a bit like Melbourne, where a lot of coaches will go and learn. Uh, they see them as good systems. And I think other clubs also see them as places to get their next coach. I think if you look at out of Melbourne and out of the Roosters recently, that would have um, they would have dished up a lot of coaches. I think Justin Holbrook, Adam O'Brien, uh, Paul Green started at the Roosters. And you look at Melbourne as well, uh, Parramatta, um, Brad, Brad Arthur. Arthur. Like mm. nearly all of them. Have Adam gone through O'Brien those was systems. down there. Michael Maguire was down there. It just goes on and on. So I think they just, you know, it was at the stage where they also need, I think he'll sign for next year, is that right? <clears throat> I think yes. Fitzy actually held off from going to a club to see out his contract. And but Fitzy had, Fitzy did commit to go to Cronulla midway through the year. I think Jason Rolls was signed until next year. Right. I'm pretty does sure. Does it make a difference? Yeah, it I mean, does. Well, why you, does it make a difference? Well, like teams, you have a plan, you have a progression plan and you... You know, like players are used to hearing people's voices, and you know, I think they're used to. But what was it? Right okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pop something for you. Okay, hypothetically, Jason Rolls does take the Dragons' job next year. Yeah. For the rest of the year this year, how much focus in a percent would be on the Roosters compared? With, do you think it'd be if you put fifty percent into this year and fifty percent well, into next year? I can imagine the hours would be the same, but there's the heart the same. Because you'd have your head doing one thing and your body doing another. You know, you could do both, but your heart's got to be in it. And if I'm the good. Roosters, I'd be, you know, I'd, I'd be getting jack of it, to be honest. Well, right. the Adam O'Brien thing was a bit like that, I think. Okay. You know, he walked away from a contract. I think Fitzy actually saw out his contract. So, yeah, I'd be... Um... Fitzy saw out his contract, but you'll, you'll remember that he was signing players to play at Cronulla midway through the season when he was still yeah. at the Roosters. He signed Nico Hines... He signed Cameron McInnes. He might have got Finucane. Well, he also built up a few more credits, Fitzy, at the Roosters. He'd yeah. been there for 10 years, didn't he? He'd been there for 10 years. He'd also played there for about 10 years. And, you know, I think uh, the, they just knew him better. So they figured they were still getting quality. Yeah. Are you surprised he's knocked back the Dragons job, Andrew? No. Well, he's going to sign. Something's wrong there. Something he wanted something in the clause. He wanted full... Uh, look, he's the boss. He's, he's the one with his neck on the line. Mm. Whatever he asks, he should have been given, whether it was about his staff or his recruitment or whatever. Questions have got to be asked from within the Dragons how they buggered this one up. Jason Rolls played for the Dragons. He lives down there still, I understand, down in Wollongong. Mm. He wanted to do it. How they stuffed up this one, questions need to be asked. I think the other one they're talking about years too. I think some of the new... The new system is going in and asking for five years. Someone else asked for five. Who was it? No, they agreed to four years. They that, agreed that to was... four, did they? Right. And then at the last hurdle, he pulled out. He, he obviously... It? And it hasn't been... He's obviously wanted complete control over maybe X, Y and Z. Well, we don't really know. So was it, a, was it an issue with the negotiations or did he just decide it wasn't, wasn't his go? No, no. Well, I think he pretty much agreed. Or That's what it looks like from the outside. And then... He's gone and said, well, I want this. And they said, well, you're not getting that. And he's like, well, I'm the head coach. He's like, too bad. He goes, like, shh, okay. see you later then. Can I just throw a different one at you too? Now, there's speculation about what Ben Hunt's going to do. He'd signed for another couple of years, I believe. I can't blame Ben Hunt. Um, given the Dragons' current situation, and we all know how great a player Ben Hunt is, would it be that bad for them if he was to leave and to, to free up the salary cap to try and reshape their roster? Not necessarily. But I can understand Ben Hunt. You're going to have to lose a few more games. Ben Hunt's well, it's probably, probably going to happen anyway. Yeah. 32, Ben Hunt. Yeah. Does he want to play the last two years of his career playing hooker? No chance. Do you playing think that's what's going to happen? At the by Dragons? the sound of it, yeah, by the sound of it. I think they're V-Mark that Sullivan and Amone yeah. and uh, Sloan are their long-term 761. Okay.